Now, MPLS is is very very uh, hot topic. We can say for uh, forever. MPLS is spoken much every day. Uh, MPLS, multi protocol label switching, multi protocol label switching. This is very uh, interesting VPN topic. We can say it's a VPN. It's a, it's a, a logical circuit that has been established. Uh, that's what we can say through MPLS we can have a layer 2 layer 3 VPNs but not secured VPN this is the VPN for uh, overlay transportation so MPLS is multi protocol label switching and very interesting and important as well all right now why it is called as an MPLS the reason is this is a protocol that can work with multiple layer 2 and layer 3 protocols now what it does is it provides label for all the routes in the routing table that's why we call it as MPLS multi protocol it works with multiple layer 2 and layer 3 protocols well, what it does it it provides label for every routes in the routing table it provides label now what is the benefit why need labels giving label makes what difference in routing yeah there is a huge difference this label makes the routing uh, more easier the label makes routing more faster this label avoids layer 3 lookup labels avoid layer 3 lookup it avoids layer 3 lookup that's the main uh, reason why we go for MPLS so every packet need not to go through a layer 3 look up to find the exit to find the direction in which the packet has to be forwarded because you have labels the packets will be forwarded based on labels instead of looking into the routing table and routing table entries labels are small number that helps to identify the exit interface when a packet enters the router instead of v looking into instead of packets looking into the big routing table it just see the label based on the label it forwards the packet for this reason we we go for mpls it it avoids layer to lookup it routes packet based on the label information how the label information is formed labels are formed labels are given dynamically labels are assigned dynamically to each and every route that is seen in the routing table labels are assigned to each and every route that is seen in the routing table and that labels are not maintained in layer 3 level they are maintained below layer 3 level because you got the labels for every network and that is maintained below label below layer 3 when you forward the packet based on labels you don't really go to layer 3 to do a routing decision to finalize the routing decision to decide on a route you just see the label which is having the route information less than layer 3 level so MPLS is called as layer 2.5 protocol MPLS is a protocol that works on 2.5 meaning between layer 2 and layer 3 between layer 2 and layer 3 we got this 2.5 layer MPLS layer between layer 2 and layer 3 
So packets are just forwarded based on layer 2.5 information, not based on layer 3. So this quickens the routing information, routing uh, decision. It's not going to see all the parameters of layer 3. It is going to just see only one, what it is, it's a label number. Based on the label number, packet will be decided how it should exit, how it should go out from the router or on which direction it has to be sent out, on which interface it has to be sent out. So routing makes, routing is made more faster now. MPLS does that by providing label. Now, who assigns label as I told you? As I told you, it is dynamically assigned. So label number 0 to 15 is reserved for management. Label number 3, for example, for PHP, penultimate hop hopping, label number 3 is used. As we already discussed, labels are assigned dynamically by the MPLS for every route that is given into the routing table by these routing protocols. If your routing table is fast, if your routing table get converged faster, MPLS will, will also be fast in convergence by providing label. If your routing table is slow in convergence, MPLS will also look like a slow protocol, but it is not depending on MPLS. MPLS is ready to assign the label when a new route is seen in the routing table. So when we pick a routing table, when we pick a routing protocol, we need to make sure that that's faster in convergence right so labels are always more than 16 labels starting from 16 is what assigned to every route in the routing table now MPLS has a protocol called LDP now what is the job of this LDP see as the name says it's a label distribution protocol label distribution protocol LDP stands for label distribution protocol the purpose of this protocol is to distribute the labels to the neighbor the purpose of this protocol is to distribute the labels to the neighbor it distributes the labels to the neighbor why why now labels need to be distributed let me give you an example if routes are not distributed will I be able to forward the route no that's why reap advertises the route every distributes the route every 30 second EIGRP sends the update whenever network change happens why if it is not giving the route information you cannot know the destinations likewise if label is not given to the neighbor the neighbor will not know what label to use to reach me or to tell me what this packet or where the packet need to be destined. Let me give you an example. See, we got router 1, router 2, router 3, router 4. Let's say this router 4 has got 4.0.0.0 network. Now, this will do what, you know? PHP penultimate hop popping meaning it will say label number 3 as I already told you there is something called PHP and there is label reservation 0 to 15 is reserved now any directly connected network when it is advertised label number will be always 3 
Now router 3 learns route from router 4 and router 3 assigns 4 network is via Ethernet 2 is via Ethernet 2 now when I enable MPLS what will happen it will assign label let's say the label number is 16 so router 3's label to identify the 4 network is 16 likewise MPLS on router 2 will give label let's say 17 for 4.4.4.0.0.0 via Ethernet 1 via Ethernet 1 4 network is there when I enable MPLS I get a label to it to the route in the routing table I get a label likewise this router 1 will also have a label 4.0.0.0 is via Ethernet 0 label number let's say 99 just I'm giving an example it will be any number above 16 okay now each router generates a label MPLS has given a label for this route I'm just taking one network which is here labels are assigned locally now that label has to be given to the neighbor why when I ping from here ping 4.0.0.0 network or if you have 0.0.1 .0 IP address I am pinging that when I ping that R1 should send the packet to R2 how by looking into the label now by looking into this label there is no use router 1 should know the label used by router 2 router 1 should know the label used by router 2 why see I will show you why now E0 sorry router 1 is sending the packet destined to this this is layer 3 information and in layer 2.5 the MAC address sorry the the label it needs to put 17 and send this packet to router 2 R1 should put label used by R2 only then R2 will know that this packet wants to go to 4.0.0.0 only if R2 receives a packet with the label number 17 it understands that ah, I, need to, I need to forward it to 4.0.0.0 because it is coming with the label number 17 this belong to 4 network it need not look into the layer 3 information now R2 needs to know the label used by R3 so what R2 will do it will take that packet 4.0.0.0 layer 3 it will just swap it will take the 17 out and it will put what 16 whose label it is it is the label that belong to R3 so R2 should know the label used by R3 only then it can assign that label and send the packet to R3 R3 when it receives this packet it finds 16 aha 16 means 4 network it can understand so based on the label only the switching happens for this reason labels need to be distributed just assigning label is not enough you need to tell the neighbor neighbor I am using this label for this network this neighbor should say hey R1 I'm using 17 for 4.0.0.0 so whenever you want to say 4.0.0.0 just simply say 17 I'll understand likewise R3 says whenever you want to say 
just say 16 I'll understand that you want to send to 400 likewise R4 sorry R3 learns that it's PHP PHP means pen ultimate hop popping meaning I'm going to send to a meaning I'm the last router that's the meaning of this pen ultimate ultimate hop popping meaning here I'm the owner my I'm giving label number three by seeing this what you should know R3 you should know that you need not to send the packet with any label you just send a normal packet don't put label 3 and send to me just send normal IP packet to me without any label just send 4.0.0.0 to me don't put any label you send it I'll take care why it is saying that why PHP is happening why it says that don't assign any label by by writing three label number three it says that don't put any label to me when you send to me hop popping pop pop the label out you are the ultimate hop you are the last hop when you send it to me don't put any label send normal IP packet why if you send it with a label I need to do label lookup I also need to do route lookup double job I don't want to do double job two job just send normal layer 3 packet I'll see the layer 3 information and deliver the packet here so in order to avoid two lookups n minus one router this is the nth router final router this is n minus one router which is penultimate router it has to pop the label out it was coming with 16 it has to pop the label out and send it as a normal packet that's what called as PHP pen ultimate hop popping hope you understood how just by using labels MPLS can root the packet is there any doubt in this yes 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 who is that someone newly joined no okay that's nice it was it was it was quite different voice it was nice okay now um, this is the introduction to MPLS this just talks about what MPLS is yes uh, Oliver yes yes uh, Oliver your voice is you no know, uh, somewhat dragging but I understood all that you said yes it is commonly used in core networks and it is very popular and this is the main focus in CCIE you have enrolled for CCIE and this is very important topic in CCIE we don't have this in CCNP anyway you're going to learn in a very detail in, CC, in CCI after our CCNP add few more thing like we, we saw that LDP is the one which distributes the label now do I need to enable LDP no when you enable MPLS LDP gets enabled automatically but there is another protocol equivalent to this doing same job Cisco proprietary called TDP if you want this then you need to go and configure the default is LDP when you enable MPLS LDP gets enabled but if you want TDP to be enabled you need to go manually and turn on TDP both are equally same 
Okay, there is no drawback in any of this. TDB is Cisco proprietary. Cisco was the one first designed this concept of label distribution. Later came this LDP, the industry standard. And uh, though TDP is by Cisco, Cisco don't have TDP as default because they do, they want their router to talk to other routers. So they, they made LDP as default. LDP uses TCP 646 port number. TDP uses TCP 711. LDP port number is 646 TCP. TDP uses tag distribution protocol. Here labels are called as what? Tag. Tag distribution protocol. Now that port number is 711. 